Hey what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use your cell phone as a web camera for Twitch streaming or YouTube recording. This is how. So off the bat we're going to need to head over to www.dev47apps and I'll put a link to it in the description below but here we're going to come here and then we'll just select here this droid cam client. So from here we're going to download it and we're going to run through the setup. Now you see I already have it installed and even if you get the Droid Cam X which is the pro version you won't need to re-download anything or reinstall anything. So running through the setup here we're going to take it through. It's going to say yes, 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 yes. Droid Cam, oh, updates. You can use it for Apple or Android. And then we're just going to click install here. Now I'm just going to hit ignore because I already have everything installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and in here and it's going to show up like this. Here we can select whether we want to connect to this device via Wi-Fi or through um, a USB. So as I said, I highly recommend doing it through a USB. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my cell phone to the PC and get it to synchronize. So now first we need to make sure that our Android device has USB debugging enabled. So on your phone, it's located in the phone settings under the developer options. On most phones, the developer option screen is hidden by default. To unlock it, go to the phone settings, go to about phone, search for the build number, and tap that build number seven times to unlock the developer options. Once unlocked, search for the USB debugging and turn it on. With the USB debugging turned on, connect your device to the computer via USB and that leads us to here. This is what DroidCam client is going to look like and you obviously you have DroidCam on your phone. What you then want to do is open up DroidCam on your phone and then plug it in. Make sure that you select transfer files when the option comes up and then in here we're going to add a new source and we're going to call it a uh, video capture device so let's just say yeah we're going to call it a new one and we're going to say droid cam D -R -O -I -D -T -A -M, and source and what we're going to select is we're going to select droid cam source 3 and say okay and then in here so now we have this let's just set this transform Let's just fit to screen. Now, currently we haven't connected in the Droid Cam application yet. So we're gonna come here and then we're gonna click refresh on this. And sometimes it takes a bit of a while to refresh, but you just give it a moment and eventually it will show up here. There we go, my phone is here now. So now I'm gonna click start. And then here we go, here I am, my webcam is here. And this is it. I've been using this for a while. So let me select intermission screen. And <laughs> that's currently the OS. Let me disable this and let me enable this here. And yeah, here we are. This is the cell phone as a webcam, which really isn't that bad at all. Let me just quickly disable this. There we go. And it really isn't that bad. Here we go. So usually you do have your webcam is quite small on your screen while you're gaming. So and the quality isn't too bad. It's not the greatest. It's not the clearest. It's currently 720p. But as you can see here, I am saying what's up from your boy here in South Africa, helping a brother out, start his streaming channel, starting his YouTube channel. Just remember quality triumphs production value. So if your quality is content, it doesn't matter whether it's crisp, clean or not. Quality content will always rise to the top. So don't be afraid. Don't think that you need a DSLR camera to start. No, start where you are. Start with what you have, with whatever is um, available to you. I know, sorry, I'm sorry. Start with whatever is available to you and then eventually when you, it's within your means, upgrade your equipment. But first start with audio and then lighting and then a better camera. Anyways, let me switch back over to DSLR so we can compare it one more time. Hey guys, if this video is adding any value to you, why not hit that like button, hit that subscribe, connect with me in the comments below. Let me know where you're at in your journey of content creating, what kind of equipment you're using. I'd love to find out where you are and what you use. Okay, so we're back here and we're back with the DSLR camera. So as I mentioned before, using a cell phone as a web camera is an amazing option. It's completely free. If you already have a cell phone and even if you have an Android, it's, it's already free. It's available to you right now, which means that there's no reason for you to put off starting your YouTube channel, starting that Twitch channel, starting the streaming or even streaming without a 
a camera for free as i said the droid cam app is free with the pro version being 68 rand or pretty much three or four dollars to anyone outside of south africa it is an amazing option to go even to 720p and in my opinion it competes with the 720p web cameras out there right now i mean being 68 rand or three dollars that is absolutely nothing for the quality that you're going to get and the platform that it provides you with i mean a free um a free option to recording quality content that is unheard of that is amazing so guys go out there start recording start crushing it i believe in you guys and guys if you have any questions about how to use the joy cam um let me know in the comment section i'll do my best to respond to every single one of them and yeah until the next video i'll see you guys peace